Hi, I'm Kaylee, and you are watching Analytics in Minutes. In this video series, you'll learn how to gather expert level insights in minutes using GA4. When you first look into Google Analytics 4, it'll look like this. Under Lifecycle, find Engagement, and drop down to Pages and Screens. going to minimize our navigation. Along the top is where you'll be able to add the marketing dimension that you want to view. So under dimension here, I'm going to type first user media. There it is. And set that to organic. All right. Click apply. And I'm going to remove all users because I don't want to compare the two. I just want to see um, first user medium from the organic channel closing out my navigation. My date range I can adjust up here. There's some preset um, definitions or you can create a custom date range. Now these two um, graphs, your bar graph and your scatter chart will change automatically by the way that we set it down here in our table. So this drop down, you can choose to view column one by page title or your URL, whichever you're more familiar with. And then these are your metrics within your columns here. So if I wanted to choose a new users by page title in the organic channel, um, it'll automatically populate my bar graph for new users by page title and my scatter chart by new users by page title. Now if I want to see users by say um, first visit, so this would be at my landing pages, I can do so here. And if I click on the header, I can change this from ascending and, and descending values. One other thing I may be interested in is um, not just the organic landing pages with the most traffic, but which ones are the most engaging. So there's some really interesting metrics within GA4. Average engagement time, meaning the amount of time that um, that web page was in the for forefront of the browser and unique user scrolls. This is at least 90% of the page. I'm going to click on that header to see which of my organic um, pages here have users scrolling at least 90% of the page. These um, articles or sections of my website, I may want to write additional con content similar to these. If I click one more time, I'll flip that and be able to see the ones with um, very little uh, user, unique user scrolls. And so these articles don't have a lot of interest. And um, I may want to update the introductory paragraph to see if I can entice the user to read more. And that's how I use the engagement pages and screens report in Google Analytics 4. This is Kaylee Larkin. You've been watching Analytics in Minutes. If you found this video helpful, please hit subscribe and share. Thank you.